What up you guys, Nathan Heights here, and today we're going to be doing a video on numbers 0 through 100 in Spanish. I decided to start from 0 in this video because I noticed that most videos start from 1, and 0 is very important. So, first things first, numbers 0 through 15 must be memorized, okay? They're just words that must be memorized. So, we'll start from 0 and we'll count to 15. We got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay? Once you hit 15, the next number 16 is going to be a combination of the number 10 plus a number 6 through 9. Okay? But first, you got to make a little change to the number 10. 10. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to get 10 and you're going to change the Z ending to CI. Okay? And then attach the next number. Okay? So you take 10, take off the Z, add CI to the Z, and then attach the next number to form one long word. So as you can see right here, we took off the Z, added CI, and then we attached 6, which would be 6. So 10 y 6, 17 through 20. 10 y 7, 18, 19, and then 20, we got 20, okay? So for 20 through 29, we're going to take off the E ending of 20, change it to I, and attach numbers 1 through 9, okay? So it's very simple. It becomes a little pattern. 1 through 25, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 through 30, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 is 30, okay? One quick little note, you definitely want to pay attention in the written form to the letters that have accent marks on top of them. So we have 16, we have 22, 23, and 26. Those accent marks are put in to, to keep the original accent in, uh, in 6, y 2, y, y 3, and... Yeah, they're, they're just very important. They're completely necessary in the written form. Okay, you guys, so let's continue. So, once we hit 30, 30, the formula becomes 30, ye. Ye means and in Spanish. So, 30, ye, and a number 1 through 9. So, 31 through 39 will be 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, 40. So, now we have numbers 40 through 99, and here's where it gets really simple. Uh, for the rest of these numbers, we follow this formula. We use a number, yi, another number, yi being and, remember, and the second number will be 1 through 9. So, here we have numbers 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. One of these will be plugged into the first slot. And then numbers 1 through 9 will be plugged into the second slot. Okay? So, for example, if we wanted to say 99, we would plug 90 into the first slot and 9 into the second slot. So it would be 99. Okay? 99. 67, 60, 7 will be 60 y 7, okay? 52, 50, 50 y 2. 47, 40 y 7. 78, 70 y 8. 87, 80 y 7, okay? And finally, after 99, we have the number 100, which is 100, okay? There's also ciento, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, in counting, when counting to 100, you will say 100. So let's say you're at 98, 98, 99, and then 100, okay? One last afterthought. If you made it this far, you deserve to know this, and that is why I'm letting you know. Uno, one, and any number ending in uno, for example, 21, Change their ending to un when used 
in counting nouns. So before nouns, okay? When they're placed before nouns. So if there's one book, you wouldn't say, hay uno libro. That's wrong. You would say, hay un libro, okay? There's one book. So, including with numbers like 21, if you want to say there's 21 books, you will say, hay 21 libros. 21 libros, okay? Keep that in mind and awesome. Please subscribe to this channel. I hope this video informed you and made things a little clear for you. Peace.